Getting ready for your trusty lift. When planning to install a trusty lift, there are a few things that must be considered. The support base for the trusty lift must be solid and capable of anchoring and supporting the base frame. We recommend a 60 by 60 inch concrete pad, approximately four inches thick. The pad should be level within a half inch and smooth with no projections. The travel distance of a trusty lift is measured from the support base to the upper landing sill. Trusty lift is available in seven different maximum lifting heights from 28 inches to 14 feet. It is also available in two different platform configurations, straight through and 90 degree access. The straight through model has its entrance and exit on either side of the lift while the 90 degree access allows the user to exit 90 degrees opposite the tower on the upper level. Note that the lower entrance side with the toe plate ramp can easily be changed from left or right side of the tower. However, we recommend that you order the correct configuration to make the installation easier. The travel wall is a barrier that extends from the upper landing sill to the support base and helps keep the user secure on the platform while operating the lift. This wall must be smooth and solid with no projections. Another consideration is the power source for the lift. Make sure there is a standard 15 amp 110 volt outlet within six feet of the tower location. The following tools are required when installing the trusty lift. One claw hammer, 1 3 8 drive ratchet, 1 3 8 drive 6 inch extension, 1 3 8 drive 12 inch extension, 1 7 16 combination wrench and 3 8 socket, 1 half inch combination wrench and 3 8 drive socket, 1 9 16 combination wrench and 3 8 drive socket, 1 3 quarter inch 3 8 drive socket, side cutters, combination screwdriver, 1 large flathead screwdriver, a utility knife, in a concrete drill with a 3 8 bit.